Hello and welcome students. My name is Shampa. Today let's understand the concept of perfect squares. Now the question arises, what exactly are squares? Now the square of a number is a number that is raised to the power 2. Say we have a number 2 and raised to the power 2 is 4. That is, when a number is raised to the power 2, we multiply the number with the same number and we get the result. Let's say 3. 3 raised to the power 2 is 3 into 3, that is 9. 9 raised to the power 2 is 9 into 9, that is 81. 27 raised to the power 2 is 27 into 27, that is 729. So, the square of any number is the number multiplied by itself. And the product that is obtained is called the square. Now, the question arises, what are perfect squares? Let's find out. A natural number is called a perfect square. If there exists a natural number n, listen to me one more time. A natural number n is called a perfect square or a square number if there exists a natural number m such that n is equal to m square. Now let's understand it with the help of a simple example. Let's say there is a natural number n. And let's say it is 25. So for 25, there is another natural number which is multiplied by itself and we will get 25 as the result. So there exists a natural number that is m is equal to 5. So for a number to be called a perfect square, there has to be a number which when multiplied by itself results in the number that is n. Now let's understand how do we check if a number is a perfect square. Let's take a number. Let's say 25. Uh, let's factorize it. What we will do? The first thing we will do is we will break it down into its prime factors. We know the prime factorization method. The least prime factor that divides 25 is 5. So 25 divided by 5 results in 5. So again 5 is divided by 5 and it resulted in 1. So we will not proceed further. So we have got this 5 and this 5. That is 5 into 5. We have got a pair. So if this pair is available, then we can say that the number is a perfect square. Let's take a slightly bigger number. Let's say 196. And now let's break it down into its prime factors. Let's begin with 2. 196, it is 92. And then we have... 49, 49, 7 divides 49 and we have 7 again. So, we have a pair of 2 and this 2. So, we will take out 1. So, we see 196 can be expressed into its prime factors and these prime factors make a pair. This 2 is available in pairs and 7 is also available in pairs. So we can say 196 is a perfect square. Now let's take one more example. Let's take 290. The first thing we will do, we know, we will break it down into its prime factors. We start with the least prime number. Here it is 2. So we have 145. So let's break it again. This is divisible by 5 and we have 
29. Now 29 is a prime number, we can't break it further. So here 1, I'm sorry, 290 can be expressed as 2 into 5 into 29. Here we see that the prime factors don't have a pair. 2 doesn't have a pair, 5 doesn't have a pair, 29 doesn't have a pair. So this is not, not a perfect square. So for a number to be called a perfect square, prime factors should necessarily have a pair. If it forms a pair, then the number is a perfect square. So that was easy.